All right, so it's Weather Wednesday, a time when Kevin and I get to talk about the weather a little more in depth together and help you understand how it can impact our lives here in Kern County. Yeah, and today we're talking about the heat and our proximity to the sun right now. Yeah, so it may feel like we are the closest to the sun this time of year because it's so hot, right? <laughs> but coming up on Friday, we're actually at Apelion, which means that we are at our point in our annual orbit when we are furthest from the sun for the year. Believe it or not, we all know that the Earth makes a complete ro revolution around the sun once every 365 days following an orbit that is elliptical in shape. This means that the distance between the Earth and Sun, which is, get this, 93 million miles on average, varies throughout the year. This week, the Earth will be 3.4% farther from the Sun than it was at perihelion. I never say that right. I always Early feel like January, I wrong, yeah. <laughs> or about 1.6 miles farther away from the Sun. Yeah, so the fact that the Earth is farthest from the Sun on July 5th indicates that it's the tilt of Earth's axis that plays such a large part in determining our four seasons. Not the distance from the Sun, but rather, rather how we face it. Here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're currently tilted toward the Sun, giving us a more direct path of the Sun's energy, meaning the less sunlight can get scattered before it reaches the ground because it has less distance to travel through the atmosphere, not that it has less distance to travel through space. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> And so you get a little bit of astronomy with a little bit of meteorology <laughs> on this Wednesday. Uh, regardless of that, it's just hot. It's 110, hot. 110, we're close to that sun right now. We're just leaning into the oven. All yep. right, stay safe out there. We'll be